Another big concern in our state, more young people are testing positive for coronavirus, especially those between the ages of 25 and 34. But they don't always show symptoms, and experts really aren't sure why. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Josh Sidoro has talked to researchers at the University of South Florida. They're working on some small devices that might find a why, uh, why some people get sick and others don't. We definitely have awareness that certain populations have underlying conditions and they are definitely at higher risk of having an adverse reaction to this virus. We don't know why otherwise healthy individuals can suddenly develop blood clots, develop a cardio a uh, vascular issue. Otherwise, healthy individuals can develop a certain res respiratory response. And these, no, they're not the latest Apple Watches. They are sensors, and the data they collect could hold the key to figuring out why some otherwise healthy people who get coronavirus wind up getting really sick and others just don't. Worn around the wrist and chest, they measure everything from skin temperature to heart rate, breathing rate, and blood oxygen levels. 15 biometrics in all of more than 100 patients monitored 24 hours a day for between 14 to 21 days. The goal? Not just predicting if someone will get really sick, but being able to prevent it. So at the end of it, when you go and, and you see someone who had COVID in this study and they wound up with a blood clot, you could go back through the data and see where something shifted. The purpose would be to help physicians diagnose earlier that a particular patient has this certain set of three, four, five variables that are going sideways and two to four to six days in front of the person ending up in an ICU, begin a treatment plan. It'd be a true early warning system. Yeah, that's fascinating. And then the study is just getting started. They'll be taking patients who volunteer from the TGH USF COVID clinic. They've got about 10 so far, but they want to get up to 150. And remember, guys, we're constantly updating our coronavirus website with news each and every day. It's all got the latest on the virus. You can find it at 10tampabay.com slash coronavirus.